Yes, indeed. It's the Jim and Terry Show, fresh from launching SpaceX into orbit. Well, suborbital, but... That was fabulous, and then followed by a Wigmore, Allen, and Gibbons new song coming on your next album, following your current album, <laughs> yeah, called it's... Spittle and Spite. I Spittle. love it. Spittle, Spittle and Spite is apparently an expression in the UK. Spittle and Spite. I'd never heard that expression. I haven't, even, but I like it, and I, 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 liked, I, I read the lyrics. It was pretty cool. Uh, I think a lot of people might be able to relate to this. Uh, what's this tunnel of... Grief is mine. <laughs> oh, you like that line. Well, maybe I'll just start off by playing the song, and okay. then we can do a little bit of analysis for it. I had visions of heaven when I was doing that. Okay. The hard man's and the scar remains. There's a pattern to this wheel Perhaps it's only being random It goes on forever in misery If it's all the, all the same If it's all the same to you If it's all the all the same If it's all the same to you Yeah Or would you have me Have me crumble Or try to make me do more summer Oh, so you reckoned to this plunder No scholar, no poet could ever write my past, it my friend i like Spittle it in spite but your favorite line and yeah. keith keith is a lyricist for this so your favorite line is that one where the stone reaches up to touch the sky so long is as this, long as that distance is is as long as as this tunnel of grief is mine uh i don't know what he's saying exactly but you can interpret it you know like uh you want me to change, you want me to do all this crap, and if I do, I'm still going to end up miserable. 
or if I don't, I'm going to end up miserable. Yeah, so that's fine. As long as this tunnel of grief is mine. That's right. I own, I at own least that. I own it. So yeah. you can try to change me and mold me any way you want. It ain't going to work. That's exactly yeah. the way we Because I've done are. that and it hasn't worked. Yep. Yeah. yeah. You got it. I can relate to that. Well, the, the things that are interesting for Anyways, me Anyways, great song, Terry. Well, thank you. But uh, most great of producing. that. producing. Well, that, it didn't sound as good as it did. I think I had my phone cranked too much and... There was some distortion that I wasn't happy with. But you can go to Wigmore Allen Gibbons on the terrywigmore.com website and find that song. It's parked there, but it will be not the last song of the previous album. It'll be the first of a new one. And I agree. Maybe the title, Spittle and Spite, is a good one. I like that title. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Spittle and Spite. Right. The reason for that song is because I found a sound that I had not used before, and I'd heard it, and I thought, I like that. And it was the harp. Yeah, yeah. And so, although it sounds like a harpsichord because you, I played it on the keyboard, I was trying to envision the way a harpist would and sit. And yet you've got a harpsichord sitting right here. Yeah, I've got a real harp sitting there, a little small mini one. But yeah, I didn't tune it up to try to use it in this well, fashion. Why? There's only 463,012 right. There's strings. Tw- that's right. I have trouble <laughs> with the why six string. Why would you get into that? And I don't even, I can't <laughs> tell you what year I last tuned my 12 string. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, yeah, I have a problem with that. But synthesizers and percussion are what I sort of add to structure. And then Keith says, here's what I'm singing. Here's how I'm singing it. Do you want to use it? In this case, he didn't add the bass. The bass was a synthetic bass, so I put that one in as well. It was good. There's an odd mix of acoustic sounds, like the harp is an acoustic. His six-string acoustic guitar is in there as well, strummed. So there's acoustic sound, but then it's also got some growly synthesizer stuff going on. And I love going, I don't know what the notes are, but I, I call them flats. Yes. Yeah, you like oh, it when it drops and dark. rumbles. You're in the dark here. Yeah, well, it, so I was looking at the lyrics and I thought, uh, there's a sound that goes with that and it's snarling. And yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, stop. Why don't you just love me for who I am without trying to make yeah. me change? Are you trying to break me? Are you trying? But if you don't, fine. It's my grief. I own yes, it. We own it, yeah. yeah. So. Anyway, that's the way that one came about, including the just dual distortion guitar leads, the double lead. So your latest album is? Well, if there's... Go Stil- by the, Sli- what is it called? Oh, the previous latest album. Yeah. Shiling. Shiling. And that's been out for how long? Oh, we just completed that a week ago. Yeah. And how? what number album is this? Uh, 14. 14 albums. Jeez. <laughs> Maybe you should go to Wigmore Allen and Gibbons and Terry Wigmore, if you like, and I, find it. Oh, my goodness. Look at them. He's got them all printed. I've got them all printed. I used the one song in the artwork because I put art tagged with each one. But there's the there's the first one. You'll have to show me how you do that because that's what I want to do for my next one. Well, you've got to get a printer that I prints will. these I things. I will. I will. Because they are a record. You and I yeah, are yeah. from an era of tangible products, yeah. vinyl records, LP jackets. At least I, yeah. that's what I used to collect. I used to go yeah. by the album art from the Beatles White Album. Yeah, yeah. That was a case of mis- uh, minimalism, the White Album. I thought, what's this? Where's the Well, album? that's how I'd like to do my next album and maybe uh, try to do it all myself that way. You yeah. Know? And maybe uh, maybe get a booklet of the lyrics to go with it and then uh, look for a uh, jewel case in order and just make them 10 at a time, 20 at a time, whatever. Prompt print the boat so i'll have to take a look at your printer see the name and brand and uh i'm assuming it's 800 bucks plus no that one was only 300 and something. oh not bad but the cartridges the cartridges is where they kill you at the price. well but if you're only doing 10 at a time 20 at a time you'll live well you'd be amazed at how fast the ink goes even when you're doing uh, you know full color uh-huh and that's what all these are like we didn't scrimp on that whereas Sometimes I'll scrimp because I'll design it grayscale or black and white just to save the ink. Mm-hmm. But if you've got no limitations, it's all in your control. So, yeah, print it yourself. Do the inside design, man, you're going to have to watch it because you are a lyricist, poet, who writes with That's lots and That's why I said maybe lots. get a booklet done somewhere else. Yeah. Well, My, you, I'm, you, I'm, you can still get them printed at Staples. That's, I mean, the yeah, last yeah. thing that I did for What do you do, just Gibbons. take in pages and say make it a book? 
Yeah, like a booklet. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's probably what I have to. I mean, even my lat, my next song coming out, as you know, and it's almost ready. It's um, eleven minutes worth of lyrics. Ten. Ten minutes. Ten minutes worth of lyrics. It's a lot. I like it. I don't think many people will. And that's not being all sympathetically humble. I really like it. I like the feel of the song so much so that some of the suggest, like I have to have a proofreader, as you know, yeah. because I'm dyslexic. And I thought I did my dil due diligence and really, really in 30 different corrections I had to come back. So, and I, I apologized to my good friend Gordon. He was so gracious and said, Jim, it's my pleasure. I know uh. of your learning disability and he just said, it's my pleasure to do it. So thank you, Gord, if you ever listen to this. Thank you. Shout but, out to Gord. Yeah, but there's, there's, three, uh, there's three suggestions I'm not going to do. Mm -hmm. So And what it is, is it's, it's changing the lyrical pattern. And I'm, I can't re-record. I'm not going to do yeah. that. So it's going to be the way it is, and it'll be Jim's little well, this is measure of fault. To thine own self be true, my friend. Yeah, yeah. You are doing this because this oh, is your passion. Wonderful suggestions, you know, but, yeah. but it's not how I talk. Yep. So it's going to, and I'm dyslexic, I know. So that's part of my lyrics. Mm. I'm a little bit backwards, maybe out of word that shouldn't be there, that kind of thing. A little bit country too? Yeah. Anyways, that's coming out. I don't know why I said it because I'm stepping on your parade oh, here. No, 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 that's fine. That was this a beautiful is, song. Uh, well, you can go to Wigmore Allen Gibbons on the tab of the home screen of the terrywigmore.com website. Find any of this material. And uh, yeah, we're hoping, who knows? We set a goal to have just one album for 2024, but we are songwriters. It's what yeah, we yeah. do. Yeah. And once you get an idea, you run with it. And because we produce our own stuff, it's just a matter of time. Yeah. Well, you go incredibly fast and you're good at what you do. Well, I, you you gain experience. Yeah, yeah, The yeah. more you do, the better you get, the more efficient you become. And the more ideas start to fill your head. I thought I should try this idea now because I never tried it before. And I was yeah. thinking about it then, but I'll do it now. Yeah. All of that stuff. And then hearing new stuff. Just open your mind and your ears and listen to stuff. And that's yeah, how that. new, idea, new ideas develop. Anyway, that's the album. The album's a little dark-looking tag art a guy with a hoodie on a darkened alleyway. The I shyly. love the graffiti on the wall wag. <laughs> I like that. Well, thanks. I spray-painted that myself. Wag, obviously, <laughs> short form for Wigmore Allen and Gibbons. There you go. Wigmore Allen Gibbons, still at it. This is now over, this will be our 13th year? 14 albums in 13 yeah. years. Producers, directors, record companies out there. Jeepers, what are you waiting for? Get these guys. I don't know. Somebody find us before we harm ourselves. <laughs> Jim and Terry's Burn bye into bye. the atmosphere. <laughs>